Okay, we're here with Becky. Becky's going to tell us her story about her journey with fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia and um, the different treatments that we've done here with her and what she's done at home. I've had, or I had, fibromyalgia for over 20 years. Um, I've been coming to see a Dr. Lynch for probably 10 of those, and I found that he helped me, but it was short-lived. Uh, it wasn't until I went on a diet after trying with other doctors shots and medicines and things that just never worked, I found that the paleo diet really made an intense difference in now, my Becky, life. Now, Becky, you went to a, a digestive doctor, mm -hmm. specialist, mm -hmm. and did they do any special testing with you? Um, they, no, no special testing. They just did, tried the standard things that you try. Did with they recommend food. any special food restrictions? No, no. Diet never was even discussed with me as could be a, a component of fibromyalgia. And how did we come about the, the, the idea that you needed to change your diet? Well, we found that when I went gluten-free there was a little bit of improvement but not very much. And so then I had you had testing done on me we where you the found that testing. I was allergic to every grain that I was tested for. And so that was when it was suggested to me that I might feel a lot better if I tried the paleo diet. And at first it was like, ah, uh, that's too extreme for me. I don't think, you know, and I also had a negative feeling because I tried so many other things that why I bother with that. But uh, almost immediately with the, um, with the um, paleo diet, I found that acid reflux went away. And so that spurred me to stay with it. And after about two and a half weeks, I started waking up feeling like I had more energy, like I wasn't as sore or achy. And then gradually, over uh, probably that first month, I started feeling better and better. I also noticed that I was losing weight, even though I wasn't on that diet for that. Uh, and I have lost 35 pounds in the process of here about four months of doing this. But it wasn't easy, but it once I could see the difference in how I was feeling, um, I would look at something like a piece of bread or a cinnamon bun and I would see pain <laughs> I, that was like superimposed. If I were to eat that, I would feel pain. And so it became much, much easier just to do away with the, the grains and the dairy and the sugar. Um, and so it has worked and I feel like a different person. I how, feel How better. about your fibro fog and clarity? I've noticed that is greatly, greatly improved as well. Um, I had gotten almost used to just collapsing in the evenings and just watching TV numbly. And now I'm up doing, I'm staying active until I go to bed at night. Uh, if I sit down and watch TV, it's because it's something I want to see, not because I don't have it, enough energy to do anything else. So it has made a complete difference in my life. Um, my husband says, "Man, I wish I could keep up with you." Um, and so it's been it's been a transformative thing for me. Your adjustments like, are holding better, yes, and your pain levels improve. Yes, absolutely. If I do go out and overdo, and I'm achy, if I rest, then I feel better. With fibromyalgia, the achiness was a constant. The the pain was a constant. I'm not dealing with with that. Uh, it's like I'm back to feeling like a normal. Yes. It takes a little more effort on your part, but it's far more healthy for your body to to try to deal with this um, with diet than it is by taking you know pills and shots and things that uh, um, are recommended by standard medical society just didn't work for me. And this does work, and I really encourage everybody to give it a month. Try it for a month, see if, you, if it doesn't make you feel a lot better. And you'll find that the rewards greatly outweigh, you know, any negatives or de deprivation that you feel from <laughs> not eating things that you like to eat before. So. Becky, thanks for sharing this. It's a pleasure working with you. Okay, it's been great. Thank you.